What's up, SJC fam? We are here at When We Were Young Fest in Las Vegas, standing with Cyrus Baluki, Newfound right. Glory, just hanging. How's the fest been for you so far? I mean, it's amazing. Um, it's really hot out here. It's Vegas, but uh, this is awesome. I was telling people earlier today, it's a festival, tons of bands, but normally on festivals, you see a couple people that you know, and yeah. then you come out here, and When We Were Young specifically, I know everybody. <laughs> yeah, dude. And you know everybody too, which is awesome. <laughs> it's so fun. And then like it's seeing all of your old friends catching up, quick hellos or long hangs and either way, short or long conversation, it's amazing seeing everybody. And obviously, you know, everybody's rooting for each other, which is awesome. It's just a big family here. Totally. And it's great because like we see or I've seen people that I haven't seen in 20 years. I've yeah. seen bands play that I haven't seen play yeah. in 20 years and to like sing along to those songs yeah. or to even just say hi as you're passing. And yeah. It's really hard. There, there's as a fan as well, there's so much going on. It's yeah. like impossible to see every band. Dude. Same thing here, just to yeah. say hi to everybody. I know. Right? Well, thanks for taking the time hanging with us, man. Your set yesterday and today was amazing. You're one of my favorite drummers since I was a teenager, dude. And like watching that. you play every time is so inspiring and motivating for me. What is your go-to, I know you don't have a go-to snare drum, so let me rephrase that. What snare drum did you play today? Because it sounded insane. Well, thank you. And it's ironic that you say that because I had a go-to for a long time. Yep. And I did pack that to fly home with because I will always fly with this titanium snare yep. that unfortunately is really hard to get. Yes. I think the alloy is not available. Um, but today I was using uh, 8x14 maple awesome. that we had made years ago yeah. and I kind of made it and used it for a little while and it was great and it just sat there for a minute and one day I was playing a Furnace Fest outdoor festival and I'm like, you know what, I should yeah. fly with that yeah. and I did and it sounded just insane. Awesome. So I brought it back out here, it that's sounded, what I was using today. It sounded insane, dude. Yeah. And obviously Thank you. you have an incredible technique and you hit I want to say you hit hard, but I don't want to say you hit hard in the sense that like you're just a hard hitting drummer. Your technique is amazing and the well, way you. you make the drums sing mm -hmm. and play, it's almost effortless for you. Like what's your warm up routine before you go and hit a, you know, hit the stage in front of a ton of people like that? Oh uh, yeah, so the warm up routine changes every day. I'm not a classically dr trained drummer, so um, I don't really have like chops like that, but I just try to work out anywhere I can on some kind of a pad. Mm -hmm. I do actually have metal drumsticks which oh, uh, sometimes are hard to come by but they're weighted drumsticks much like a baseball player would have like yeah. a you know ring like a weight on the rat and uh just do anything literally even if i'm just doing like a single stroke roll yeah. roll or double stroke roll um but just try to get loose if i can yep. and then the technique hitting hard it's not necessarily about hitting hard a big secret to me for my snare drum sound i think would be die cast hoops yeah and it takes a minute to get used to those because they can actually hurt you if you really yeah. don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but once you get like, let's say an angle of where you're sitting versus the snare drum and kind of can lay into it, it that's the reason why you have yeah. a die cast hoop. It just right. has a different sound. Yep. It gives you that extra kind of like pop and, and you know, maybe even a ring or whatever the tone from the drum, right? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being such an awesome part of the SJC family for so long. It's been over a decade now, Yeah. insane. What's your favorite part about being in the SJC family? What do you love the most? You know what, honestly, what I love the most is I love having people come up to me, whether it's before the show, uh, not during, but after the show, whatever, and if it's like friends of mine that are in bands or even local crew, and they're, they're like, that kit, this is, let me see this kit, what kind of kit is this, right? Yeah. And I get to tell them, and I'm so happy to say that. And then on this kind of fest, and specifically this weekend, so many people came up and they're just like, that drum set. I know that drum set. Yeah, and I was dude. so excited to talk about the story because yeah. this actual drum set I use, the silver silver sparkle, if you want to call it. Yeah. You know, this is something we talked about. Yep. And this is a way for me to have you guys pay homage to my past. Yeah. And let you guys take your chance at making it because I knew that you guys could not only like make the same, you can make it better. Awesome. And you did. Awesome. And everybody talks about how good it sounds. Thank so. you so much. Of and what, a, what an honor and pleasure it was, because that kit that we replicated, I remember watching the video of you playing that kit. The so, video in the garage, that's what somebody dude, said. Yeah. Oh, like, that kit, I love it. It's, it's yeah. the video in the garage. And I was like, Oh, and we had the kill. garage door open. And that's what yeah. I, and I gave that's you the, that Dress to Kill video for yeah. you to look at and be like, let's make this kit. Yeah, yeah. dude, amazing. Well, thank you so much, man. Course, we appreciate man. it so much. And I know there's a lot of drummers out there that look up to you as well. So thank you. on behalf of them in the SJC family, thank you so much, man. Always, always. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah, bro.